In April 2020, Jean was uh, three months postpartum when she came to see me for rectal bleeding. The ben was her third baby. In all her previous pregnancies, she had had rectal bleeding because of hemorrhoids, but this was different. It was occurring three months after delivery, constant and with every bowel movement. I saw her via video visit since we were in the middle of a pandemic. I recommended hemorrhoidal treatment and asked her to come for re-evaluation in four weeks. Instead, she came three months later in July. The problem was still there. I recommended a colonoscopy. She was furious. I'm 28 years old. I have no family history and I have little kids in no time. And we're in the middle of a pandemic. I'm not willing to go to a medical facility for a procedure. Why do I need one? I said, because I want to rule out other problems, such as what, she says. Like polyps or inflammation. She scheduled the procedure but could not afford the copay, so canceled it a week prior. I remained firm on my recommendation via phone when we spoke. She rescheduled the procedure in September, six months after her initial visit, and was diagnosed with stage 3 rectal cancer. It was devastating. She was in total disbelief because she had no family history, ran marathons, and ate kale. So far, she has been the youngest colon cancer patient for me. Besides her, I have had Rock, a 39-year-old with metastatic colon cancer, Katie, a 42-year-old IVF postpartum pregnancy with metastatic colon cancer, and Rhea, a 47-year-old IVF postpartum pregnancy with metastatic colon cancer. Stories like these are becoming increasingly common. Today, rates of colon cancer in younger than 50 is climbing, whereas the rates in above 50 is declining. In 1990s, the rate of colon cancer in younger than 50 was 1 in 12,000. Now, in 2015, it was 1 in 9,300. Is it due to excessive use of antibiotics causing gut microbiome disruptions or infections due to human papilloma virus or due to obesity, red meat consumption, processed foods? The underlying reasons remain a mystery. Of course, it's very scary and devastating. But a few lessons that I've learned from these patients. Number one, denial is not a strategy. Number two, pace yourself. Take it moment to moment, hour to hour. Be prepared, not panicky. Educate yourself. Attitude is huge and knowledge is power. Remember, this too shall pass. Final takeaway. The new screening guidelines recommend starting colon cancer screening at age 45 instead of 50. There can be life after colon cancer. The prerequisite is early detection. Thank you very much for listening. Stay safe and be well.